Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I was going to actually learn how to wrap my wedding cake tier. Did I say that right? Um, so I figured I just was, I would go ahead and demonstrate it for y'all. Um, I recently, recently got married to Conrad Quinter. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jenna Burns. My Instagram is Jenna Camille Burns, and I also have a uh, other Instagram called The Self Made Babe. And this is my YouTube channel. Um, you'll find all kinds of tips about business, lifestyle, love, fitness, reviews of my cute outfits. And um, so, anyways, today I'm going to teach y'all how to um, how to preserve the top tier of your wedding cake. There's the words. Um, got married in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -mm -mm. That's my cake. Um, on the beach. Got lucky. It was super rainy. Um, all throughout the week. I got married on November 1st. Uh, if you're Catholic, which I was raised Baptist, but Catholics believe in All Saints Day. So that's what All Saints Day is the first. It's the day after Halloween. Um, so I just thought it would be beautiful. I had to push my wedding from May 22nd to November 1st due to COVID. Um, so I was ready to have a good ending to my 2020 year because it has been tough for all of us. So anyways, I got this article from Martha Stewart. I Googled it and it seemed like it was the best one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I'm doing, how to preserve the top tier of your wedding cake if you decided to save it. Now I've heard horror stories um, some people um, unwrap it and defrost it at the end of their first year anniversary. It is a tradition to save the top tier of your cake. Um, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but um, I'll let you guys know a year from now what the update is. Um, I just, I've had my cake in the fridge for about a week now and it's really good still. Um, you're supposed to actually Take the top of your cake um, and chill it before you wrap it. So it's been in the fridge. I've been busy starting a new job. Um, basically just catching up after a wedding because it is very hectic. Nobody tells you how exhausted you are after the wedding. <laughs> but anyways, um, I ordered my cake from Publix. It's a grocery store. I got buttercream and it's vanilla. It's been chilled, so it's nice and cold. The reason why you want that is because your cake, you want it to be smooth when you're wrapping it. So, um, sorry, I'm trying to eat and talk. Oh, so good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me wash my hands. All right, <clears throat> washed my hands off. Okay, I just rinsed them actually. It's my house and my cake, so. <laughs> Normally you're supposed to sing a song when you wash your hands, by the way. Okay, so I have my cake here. I'm gonna lift it up. And boy, oh boy, it is a mess. Okay, <laughs> that's the top tier of my cake. Doesn't look so pretty, but we're not a magazine here. This is real life people. <laughs> okay. Um, I've heard that some people just go ahead and buy like the top tier of their cake as a memento in the next year instead of saving it because it will taste better because it's fresh. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to keep the tradition alive. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna keep the cardboard on. Hopefully that's not a mistake, but you're supposed to wrap the cake Two layers with plastic wrap. Okay, and the tighter the better. I'm gonna get my janky <laughs> plastic wrap, wrap box here. I'll do another wrap. Okay. So I did one around one edge and then a 
I'm going to do the other. So let's see here. I just, so I wrapped it this way once and now I'm doing it the other way. So kind of like a crossroads. So now I'm wrapping it around this edge. See, that way this side is covered as well. And I'm gonna actually place it upside down. This is why you want it, the cake to be cold because if it's mushy, it will just fall apart. So it's cold enough where I can actually put it upside down. And you know what? It's kind of weird. I'm gonna take the cardboard off actually. I'm not gonna wrap with anything in there. If you have ornaments on your cake, you're supposed to remove it. Okay, so see, I took the cardboard off because I'm gonna walk this right hand again. Okay. So yeah, they said to just remove all of the ornaments and anything on the cake. And so I'm not gonna leave the cardboard because I just don't want it to get mushy um, or have any effect on the cake's flavor. And that's kind of, I'm sure there's like random stuff in the cardboard that I don't wanna be eating a year from now. Oh shit. So I just dropped my cake. Okay, so dropping my cake is a win. <laughs> Good luck, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, here we go. What's that? It says two layers, but to be honest, I'm going to wrap it again the opposite way because I want this thing to taste really good a year from now. And then another tradition that I heard that people have been doing is you write a letter to your significant other, you get a good bottle of wine, and then you get a really pretty wooden box, and you don't open up the box of wine or the wine bottle or your letters until 10 years on your 10 year anniversary. So I'm actually going to be doing that with Conrad, my husband. Um, if anybody wants to see my ceremony, I did do a live on my Facebook page. I'll see if I can put it on YouTube. But it was beautiful. It was so sweet. He cried. I did not know he was going to cry. But, um, yeah, he cried. I cried a little bit when I was waiting with my dad. Um, and then I also sang a song to my husband, You Are the Best Thing by Ray Lemontang. I took singing lessons. I was going to do it walking down the aisle, but on the beach it didn't make sense. And I did hire a guitarist, but unfortunately, um, too bad. He got sick. He got COVID. So it was really sad because... It was a last minute thing. And of course, as a bride, we freak out about everything. But um, I was in a bridezilla. But I ended, thank God I had a recording. So I was able to like do it on the cusp. And I was pretty proud of myself. I didn't mess up. Too bad. <laughs> and it's the thought that counts anyways. Okay. So here we go. Maybe I'll do one more wrap. Who loves wrapping paper? It's almost Christmas time, y'all. Okay. Boop it down. Let's do it one more. The last time. <laughs> when we unwrap this, we're gonna be like, I'll forget how many layers I did. Okay, so once you do the plastic wrap, you're supposed to wrap it with um, tin foil. Trying to keep this tradition alive. I don't really know where it started, but I'm gonna Google this. And then I'll put the link um, in the description. So if y'all want to read the actual instructions from Martha Stewart, you can. Okay. Nice, it's like, you can throw this up in the air and you're good. Okay, thank God I put it in the fridge. So make sure you remove all the ornaments, st stick it in the fridge, let it um, be cold, cause you want the icing to not be like moldable. See how it's like pretty stiff. Um, okay, there we go. 
Now, tin foil. I ended up buying a three tier cake from Publix and it was only like 400 bucks. So if you're getting married, consider them because they did a great job. Now, I would say I was disappointed a little bit in the color. Like I was supposed to get like a really beautiful baby blue light color, like a dusty blue. And it didn't come out that way, but whatever. I wasn't one of those people that cared about having my cake being perfect because I wasn't trying to impress other people that day. It literally was just about Conrad and I. And that's what it should be all about. If you live in West Palm Beach and you're thinking about getting married, um, they have a really cute courthouse, um, Lily Palutzer. They have it decorated. For $30, you can get married in that room. Super cute. I didn't do that. I took pictures in there. But had I known about that back in May, maybe we would have done that. <laughs> and then um, you can also ask me questions. I was able to plan an entire wedding um, for 50 plus people for the price of like 10 to 12K, including my wedding dress. So um, alcohol included. It was a breakfast. It was beautiful. We had it at 9.30 a.m. And yeah, it was awesome. Some people complained it was too early. Um, honestly, frankly, I did not care. Uh, because it's not about anybody else. It's about me and my hubby. So remember that. When people start trying to create drama, let it go. I really kind of got traumatized by some drama in my wedding, but it's okay. Because I married the man of my dreams. Okay. I think we're good with the wedding cake. This is awesome. Where's that? Um, they said to stick some baking soda inside the freezer too. So if you have any smelly items like fish or something like that, then it can get into the cake. But I wrapped this so much that hopefully it stays good. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll probably go pick up another box from Publix because this one's gotten a little dirty, but for now I'll just keep it in there. Um, and then when I go back over to Publix, I'll just make sure to ask them for one. Side note, how cute is this freaking Tiffany blue pumpkin? I got it for $7.99 at um, Home Goods. I, I used it in my wedding because it was like now it, those, my colors were um, dusty blue, dark blue. And then, um, yeah, so, okay. And then also one other thing, this outfit, super cute, right? Um, fitness hubshop.com. I'm going to give you all a code when I get one, but it will save you 15%. Um, this is a, it's free people movement brand. It looks like blue jean. So it's really cute. This is the medium large. I normally take a small medium, but I got, um, a really good discount just cause I work for them part-time. So figured this would, you know, it's comfortable. I can wear it to work. And then I got the Kyrie Irving shoes from Nike. So that's my outfit. And yeah. Okay, so let me take some of these chunks out of the box because I'm gonna snack on them. And I had so much cake left over, um, but I'm so happy I got the three tier because I played the song um, Something Sweeter Without You by Marvin Gaye. It was a really good song for the cake cutting. So I recommend that. If you have questions about songs to pick for your wedding, let me know. I made a whole playlist as well. Okay. Boom. Cake is done. 
Um, I'm going to stick it in here and call it a night. And then I'll go back up to Publix to get a plain top tier wedding cake. Um, I was afraid when I was buying from Publix, I was afraid to tell them it was for a wedding because I was afraid they were going to upcharge me. But they didn't. It's the same price. So don't worry about people upcharging you for a wedding cake at Publix. Everywhere else, yes, don't mention it's a wedding because they'll, they will try to charge you up the you know what. So, okay, I'm putting this in. Voila! I'm going to stick this in the freezer. It's a really messy cake thing. But um, I'll get a new box and call it a day. Other than that, I hope y'all learned something new today. How to preserve your top tier of your wedding cake. Y'all have an amazing night. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my frosting. Um, let me know if you want to hear any other new videos. Go ahead, subscribe, like this, comment below. Love y'all so much. Peace, love, bye.